Special segment now, the mobsters and the movies. The movies have always been a tempting target for organized crime since the money there can be so big. Well, tonight, Brian Ross reports on the movie making of two men who also appear in front of the camera. He's from prison just last month and met at the prison gate by his son, Michael. Federal authorities say Michael Franzese is not the first member of his father's crime family to go into the motion picture business. The screening was part of a big rap party in Florida last month to celebrate the wrap-up of filming on location in the Miami area. This is where it all started. It was a big event for the two executive producers of the movie, Jerry Zimmerman and Michael Francesi, two newcomers to Hollywood who in only a few years have been able to raise millions of dollars to make and distribute movies. Closely watching all this in surveillance vans across the street were police and FBI agents investigating Franzese, Zimmerman, and organized crime in the movie business. To law enforcement authorities, Zimmerman and Franzese, shown here on their way to a grand jury appearance in 1973, are well known, not as movie producers, and according to an FBI affidavit on file in federal court, Michael Franzese is now a high-ranking member of an organized crime family, the Colombo Mafia family, and was recently charged with racketeering, extortion, loan sharking, and the investment of mafia money in legitimate business. Michael Franzese was accepted as a big-time Hollywood producer. As Hollywood producers, Zimmerman and Franzese became celebrities in Miami. A Miami bishop gave them a special blessing from the Vatican. And to the astonishment of federal agents, the mayor of Miami Beach gave Franzese the keys to the city and a special police pass. Our police department, as well as the rest of the city, is delighted to have you, and any courtesies that they can extend to you, they will be happy to do so. The mayor later told NBC News he was shocked to hear allegations of Franzese's organized crime connections. Franzese, who is only in his 30s, is the youngest mafia boss in the country and possibly the richest. This is the part of Long Island, near New York City, that F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote about in The Great Gatsby. Fabulous homes, great wealth. Some of the richest people in the country live here, including the alleged young mafia boss who has just had this place built for him. His name is Michael Francesi. The FBI says you're a member of the Colombo Mafia family. Like I said, the FBI can uh, allege and say whatever they like. They've been doing it for many, many years. But... What could I say? That's the FBI. That's law enforcement. But two weeks later, Michael Franzese's career as a movie producer was interrupted, and he was in handcuffs, arrested by the FBI on racketeering charges, one of 14 people charged in an alleged mafia loan sharking and strong arm operation that invested mob money in legitimate businesses. Franzese says he plans to fight the charges, and that neither his arrest nor his partner's pending criminal trial nor the bad publicity about mafia ties will in any way stop his big plans for the motion picture business. Brian Ross, NBC News. Could you please stand, raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you will give this subcommittee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you God? Uh, the very nature of the sport, the fact that many of its major participants from the fighters themselves to their managers and trainers, to some of the top promoters, have their origins in the streets, makes professional boxing a prime target for organized crime. Due to their backgrounds, it makes it relatively easy in many cases for organized crime figures to deal with many of the, those people associated with the sport. Traditionally, organized crime has been attracted to boxing because of the money to be made gambling on fights.